Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. I almost forgot to even record this because <laughs> I haven't been doing the YouTube playthroughs and, you know, recording regularly and working on that at all. So I literally was just, I just realized, I was like, wait a minute, it's, it's, it's Saturday and I got a podcast tomorrow and it's not recorded at all. So here we are. Uh, I got a La Croix locked and loaded, ready to go. Ah, salt water. So good. So good. I uh, hope everybody had a good week. It's been a good one for me, I guess. I don't know. I had a wedding that I went to last weekend, which I think I talked about in the last episode. Um, I meant to watch the last episode over again. That's something I like to do. Uh, but let me pull it up and look at any comments on there. Let's see this. Shut that audio off. Bam. Bam. Okay. All right. Uh, I was talking about more ideas for the subathon, which I'm pretty, pretty good with what I want to do. I'm pretty locked in for like my ideas of what I want to do. Um, Radical Red Nuzlocke. That's something that I was the first thing I wrote down that I wanted to do. And I think I will be doing it. Um, I might pick like a day to work on that. The first day is going to be sports. Most of the day, we're going to be doing a couple of fantasy football drafts and we got, uh, we're playing the new Madden, Madden 24, doing some of those simulated games during the fantasy drafts. I was thinking about even starting, because it depends what time I start the stream, right? I would like to start early on Sunday, like 8 a.m., try to get a really, really early start. And, ugh, excuse me, salt water making me burp immediately. If I start early enough like that, I could just kind of... Start off with like a just chatting situation because I'm sure regardless of what I'm playing, I'm going to have some people at the very beginning of the stream doing some crazy donations. So I'll be probably spending most of the beginning uh, updating, you know, who who gifted so much money and up, making sure the clock for the subathon is correct and whatnot. Um, I want to get legit sub goals listed down. I got some new ideas of things I want to do for like the giveaways. Uh, I think I'm going to do pretty much anyone who hits like certain thresholds, like anyone who hits like 50 gifted subs or uh, 250 gifted subs or 500 gifted subs or a thousand gifted subs. We had two people hit a thousand last time. So it's the only reason I'll probably even have a category that high. I don't know if it'll happen again, but I might just have one made just in case uh, that way, instead of just doing like top 10, it's more like based on, you know, individual support. Cause I mean, I don't know how crazy it's going to be. Who knows? And if the 10th person gifted five subs and the fifth person did 250 subs, I feel like it'd be kind of, I feel kind of guilty if they both got the same exact kind of thing. It's kind of what I did last time. Um, people who were a little higher up, the top 10 got hoodies and the hats and I signed cards and did all the stuff for everybody. Um, I did some other little extra cards for some of the higher people and whatnot, a couple extra packs of cards, but like I want to do something even better. I want to do it more. I didn't really know what was going to happen last subathon. I had no idea it was going to be as crazy as it was. So I was definitely unprepared. Um, but I, I just want to be more prepared this time. Uh, but I think I'm going to go that way. Uh, but we got the Madden. We're going to do Rad Red Nuzlocks. I want to do the, the Switch Sports. I really want to do the golf Switch Sports. And I want to be like decked out in like golf gear. I want to be like looking, looking ridiculous. I want to look as ridiculous as possible while I do it. Uh, so that'll be one thing. Purgatory. Baldur's Gate, I'm probably going to play it one day. It might be one of the later days, like third day. If we get to like a third day, I might put it on then or maybe like a late night thing. Um, Diablo was something I wrote down originally. I don't think I'm going to do that. The competitive Pokemon, I don't know. That'll be something, that'll be an idea. It's an idea that I might touch on, but probably not. We'll see. Scary game, I'll probably do one night. Arc, probably not going to do that. The car work, that's something I mentioned last time. I'm thinking I'm going to have a laptop set up so that I can kind of track all the gifted subs from people and how much each person donated. Uh, I'm going to have that on a separate laptop. So I think if I set that laptop up in advance with like the sources and everything, so I can kind of start the stream and have the subathon clock going, then I think I could, I think I could do that and, you know, bring the laptop out to the garage and, you know, if I want to work on the car or do something outside with the goats or something like that, I can kind of move the stream, maybe do a cooking stream. You know, maybe I can, maybe I can kind of maneuver it that way, which it wouldn't be impossible to do. Um, I might want to get into the microphone though. 
That's kind of the biggest issue. The video, I can manage that, no problem. But having no microphones, kind of a bigger issue. So I might have to buy a mic, but we'll see. But we got to get ideas for that. But um, aside from that, aside from subathon, because we've been talking about that for the past like two podcasts in a row. Uh, I personally, I've been working out more. That's another thing I mentioned I wanted to do during the subathon is make sure I'm doing workouts. Uh, one of the things was doing like yoga. <laughs> it's sharp to do a P90X class. Uh, I would, I think a sub goal is going to be that I have to do a yoga, like a, I don't know how long, a 30 minute yoga class. I'll YouTube one, just find one and I'll do it on stream. I think it'd be hilarious. Uh, but I'm thinking every day on stream at like a certain time that I'm going to do a, maybe it won't be a certain time, but at some point in the day, I'm going to do a uh, rowing workout. So I have a rowing machine back there. You can see it right here. Bam. A lot of you guys obviously know I have a rowing machine, but I've never done a rowing workout on stream. So I'm thinking of if I at least do one of those every single stream, it'll be a good, it'll be a good, you know, thing to keep me active because I'm, I've been going to the gym this week. I went twice with my, I went once earlier this week by myself. And then I went twice this week with my friend Tyler, who is, uh, he's, he's been going hard in the gym for like five years now. Like he's been going super consistently. He's in wicked good shape. And he's my best friend. And I've a few times I've talked about how I want to get back into it. And he's always trying to motivate me to do it. And I was like, yeah, let's go together. Like I need, let's, I'll go with you if I can. So uh, we've been going this week. We went twice and I am so sore today, but I love it. We did chest yesterday and I was just like, Oh, I haven't done a good chest workout like that in a while. Uh, and I want to keep that going. It's like, you know, I got another eight days. <laughs> before the subathon starts and oh boy, if you're not following me on kick or YouTube, because it'll be on both, I'll be streaming it on both of those. Please make sure you're following over there. So you don't miss it. It's going to be ridiculous. Someone asked about me uploading the subathon like in full after it's done. Uh, but since I'm going to be streaming on YouTube and kick, if you do want to watch them, if you can't catch them when they're live, you want to get caught up and you know, after the fact they will be live on YouTube for eternity. I would hope. <laughs> But uh, make sure you're following over there. I'm ex I'm hoping it goes really good. I'm really excited for it, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I want to just I want to get this next week. I want to make sure I keep consistent in the gym, going with my friend. And you know, once subathon comes, I'm gonna discuss with him. I don't know how long it's gonna be, which is the craziest thing about a subathon and how much of a wrench it throws into my schedule. Is I have no idea what's gonna happen. I can say like if I have an idea it's going to go or if I maxed it out, like say it caps out at three days or 72 hours, then I know that no matter what, at this certain point, I'll be able to stop and wrap it up. Um, but I'm not doing that. I'm doing uncapped. I don't know how long it's going to go. I have assumptions. Last time it went like 72 hours, I think, of streaming, which was like almost five. I think it was like five, the fifth day we ended. I'm assuming I'm just trying to assume it's going to go a similar type length i really don't know though i really have no idea uh but it really does throw a wrench into my schedule of like you know anything that's why i stopped youtube uploads because i didn't want to start a playthrough and then like two weeks into it i get thrown off schedule because of the purgatory um i really am craving a youtube playthrough though i really want to do a breeze lock again I really, really do. I kind of want to run Gen 5 back. I want to do it again because I lost the last one because a, rev a rival battle just caught me off guard and I'm upset that I lost. I really shouldn't have. And it, it bugs me that I lost it. So I really want to run it back. I really, really do. So I might even do that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a different generation. A lot of people want to see something different. Um, hold on one second. Um, my friend just texted me, actually, the one I've been going to the gym with. So I'll see what he's up to. Um, yeah, I, I really want to run Gen 5 back, though. I really do. The Gen 6 games, like the 3DS games, a lot of people don't care for those. So I don't really think I'm going to do a breeze lock of that anytime soon again. Um, and I've done so much Gen 4 because of the last purgatory we did on stream. I was doing Heart Gold, Soul Silver for six months. And I'm just not trying to do that again. So I really want to start a breeze lock but I know that I don't want to start it right now. So gonna have to be patient. I'll do a starter selection video and I'll probably put it up 
Uh, it's probably going to be the weekend before. Mm, let's see. I'm going to a wedding on September 9th. Yeah, I'm, so I'm leaving on the September 8th. Um, and I won't get back until the 11th. So I might have it up. I might, I might record it before I leave and like schedule it to upload on the 11th. So people can vote for a starter. I come back on the 11th and I'll probably do like a three day upload thing. Like on, um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, I might do that schedule again. So maybe I'll upload it for the Tuesday, do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, podcast Sundays. And then soon after we'll be starting the soul link. Oh, I just, know, I just heard a noise. Sorry, caught me off guard. Uh, we'll be starting the soul link shortly after. I don't have a definitive date with Mac yet. He's ready to do it. Uh, but like I said, I got all these vacation. I got that, you know, destination what I'm going to. I got the subathon. It's going to be a busy three weeks from here on out. Uh, so it'll be sometime when we get back. But I, I like that schedule we did last time where it alternated days for uploads. Uh, it was much more easier to manage, especially when it comes to the soul link, because the editing is a lot more work. Uh, you know, I have to have Mac upload his version. I have to download it, edit it on my side, do like the team preview that we have listed and the uploading and, you know, the, uh, the processing of everything just takes so much longer with those videos. So it's tough to do too many of those videos and then do my own videos on the side. But I was able to do that schedule pretty well. Uh, three days of Soul Link, three days of my own playthrough and then a podcast and then streams in between. Um, like I said, the end goal is always to build up those pre-recorded videos and the platforms, my Facebook and YouTube to a point where, you know, hopefully my, that can be a very stable income source from the ad revenue and, you know, support from you guys. Um, because eventually when me and Mish decide to have kids, I know that I'm not going to be able to stream nearly as much. It's going to be super limited, but I could keep up with the YouTube uploads. I can, no matter how rough life gets, I can find time to record a video or two get caught up a day or two, you know, and I can always keep those going. So that's always my goal, but, um, see how it goes. See how it goes. Um, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I don't really got much else to update, man. I've, I'm not doing like, you know, there's not really much going on. I'm getting more into the gym. I bought a new suit today because I got the wedding. I bought a green suit. It's like a nice dark, like forest green. It's beautiful. I'm excited for that. We looking fresh to death. Hopefully lose some weight. I'm trying to get down to like 175, 170. It's kind of like a good weight for me because uh, I got a huge head. So if I get too skinny, it's going to look weird. So I don't want to be too too skinny. So if I build up some muscle, it should work out. I'm currently like 190 right now that I weigh. So I want to get down to like 175, 170. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to keep trying. Keep following these podcasts. These aren't really podcasts. Honestly, this is just literally like a week to week update, like channel update of what's going on. I call it a podcast, but that's more or less what I use it for. Uh, me and my buddy Tyler, he's been wanting to start a podcast, me and him which I think would be really good. But if we ever do that, it'd be a more, it'd be a way more legitimate podcast for sure. It might even replace this one. I might say like, if I do end up starting to do that podcast with him more consistently, this one might kind of just fade away. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing this every single week. We've been talking about doing this for a few months now, me and him, and you know, we haven't started it yet. So, you know, I'm not giving up on this one anytime soon, but yeah, I kind of just use it for more for the updates. Uh, as always, if you guys got any questions they want to hear me talk about, regardless if it's related to the subathon or whatever, or YouTube or content creation at all, if you want to ask me anything, just let me know. Um, and if you do have ideas for the subathon, I will I'll appreciate all those as well. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up with that. Nice short little update. And next week's episode is just probably going to be me describing that you know we got the subathon. Starting today, you know, tomorrow's, uh, I mean, next week's episode will go up on the start of the subathon. So I'm, you know, just reminding people of that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.